this video, we're going to talk about adding a Kami assignment to Google Classroom. Adding a Kami assignment to Google Classroom is part of the pro version of Kami, so you can't use it with the free version. If you have installed Kami in your Chrome web browser, then it's going to allow you to add Kami assignments in Google Classroom. If you don't know how to do that, check out one of our earlier videos to learn how to add Kami to your Chrome web browser and to sign up for Kami. All I need to do to add a Kami assignment is click on Create. And from here, you can see that I have an additional option along with my regular Google Classroom mainstays. All I'm going to do is click on the Kami Assignment button, and a familiar looking window will pop up with some extra options. I'm going to go ahead and give it a title and then instructions. And then from here, I have extra feature restrictions. If I click on that, I can really focus my students on what they're allowed to do. For example, I can allow them to use the select tools, turn off the dictionary if I don't think it's very pertinent to this actual assignment, I can add the text to speech so that they can make any comments they want, and of course, keep those markup tools on. And there are other options that you can really use to either limit or focus your students on what they need to do. For example, I don't think the signature is a very helpful feature and I don't want them to get distracted. So maybe I'll just uncheck signature and press OK. So they'll be able to use everything but the signature option because of I've added the feature restrictions. From here, you can see all your regular Google Classroom options with the due dates, with schedule of time, and then of course the topic option. So it'll go right into your regular Google Classroom flow of learning. And then the next part, probably the most important, is adding your PDF. You can add one from your Google Drive or from your computer if you have a lot of them on there. That's what I'm going to do. And then there it is. My PDF is right there, and I've got my options here with the drop-down arrow. When I click on that, the recommended kind of default option is make a copy for each student. That is going to be your most important option and one that you're probably going to use the most. Of course, you have share one copy with students if you want them to make a bunch of edits on the same page or you can allow them to just view it like a regular pdf but i recommend keeping them make a copy for each student on it works the same as them making a copy for a google doc or a sheet or a slide and also you have the option to send a cami instructions to students this might be helpful if it's the first time it's some extra support but really not too needed it's really up to you and I'm going to go ahead and click Assign. And if you're wondering about add links to open with Kami, that's a beta. We'll talk about it in a future video. But right now, we're just going to assign it. And from here, it's already informed me that the assignment has been created. And there's the helpful instruction that you can send to your students. And of course, you can open it right in Google Classroom. It'll open up in a new tab. And here's your assignment, just like any regular Google Classroom assignment. You can view the PDF if you want. And then, of course, these are the instructions that your students will have if you so choose to include them. It'll walk them through adding Kami and using it as a student. From here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Student Work. And you can view this assignment just like any other Google assignment. You can see that Christopher Walker and Patient Zero both have their assignments right here. If I click on them, I can see if they've done any edits and whatnot. They haven't so far. Once students have finished editing the resource here, they turn it in just like a regular assignment and you'll see all those updates. Mm -hmm.